Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, War Paint. I know that this is going up late because it's like 1 o'clock in the afternoon on Friday. So thank you for stopping by my BFFs. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Welcome to my channel. These are my Beauty Favorites Friday, and I bring you 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 things that I've been loving for the week. Usually I try to keep it 5 and under, but this week, I don't know how well I did with that. So I hope you guys had a wonderful week. If you guys have been following me on Snapchat, you know that we've been busy. We went on a hike. We went to the beach. My mustache is sweating, you guys. I haven't been self-tanning this summer very much, and I self-tanned last night. My hands, well, they turned into nasty old self-tan hands, so let's go ahead and forgive me for those. Um, let's jump into my favorites. And if you are following me on Snapchat, thank you so much. And if you're not, um, my Snapchat name is Tara dot michelle five so come follow me because i keep you posted throughout most every day so it's fun over there all right so the first thing that i've been loving this week is scotch tape um because i've been wanting to do more of a winged smoky eye throughout the entire week and that's just been really helping me because i've been doing it post foundation post foundation pre foundation post pre-foundation and it's just really helping me because I don't have any more Lorac um, eyeliner, the, the liquid liner I like so much. I've been using the Physicians Formula and it's really hard to wing it by yourself. So I've been using Scotch Tape as my guide. So if you're not so great at doing wing liner and you're a beginner, try some Scotch Tape action in your life. And then to also help, if you need to erase your face, I've been loving my Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes. I, ha I just found this little like seven pack and I haven't bought the bought the M in a while and I just really like this like yesterday I have a dry patch on my face of skin I've exfoliated it keeps coming back I literally had to take off half my face just the bottom half of my face yesterday and redo it because of this dry patch that I'm dealing with and I dealt with it today again I don't know what's going on so other things that I've been loving Oddly enough, today, of course of all days, I'm wearing my Anastasia Dip Brow on my brows, but throughout the week I was wearing Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit, and this one is in medium. I really like brow powders. It gives you a really natural look, and it's just super easy to fill them in. I already have pretty naturally full brows, but I just fill in like the gaps and make them one whole brow. And if I wasn't using the brow kit... I was using my Lorac Pro, and I was doing different looks with this, and also I was using the shade Taupe to fill in my brows, and this is a lighter color than my brows, but it just, it, it works, it works good, but I've been really enjoying that, and I was using this with like Nude and Champagne as my lid colors, because I was like addicted to that, and the other thing I was addicted to is on my eyes today, this look I came up with with just really two shadows, I added a couple more today, but when I was like lazy for work, this is what I was wearing. Sorry, it's like super cooking in my room. I feel like my mustache is definitely sweating. So I have my MAC palette here. It's really dirty. Um, I've been using, I have this duo from Urban Decay. Um, it's um, Urban Decay is Sin and Mushroom. And these colors are what I'm wearing on my lid today. They're super pretty, super pigmented, and kind of crumbly. Like, it's a duo, so I'm wondering if it's just because they came together packaged like that. But here you can see... Um, shroom there and then scent on top. It's super beautiful and I was just watching my friend Candace's um, makeup collection video and she has scent as a single and I was like yes that is good and I've been wearing it all week so I thought that was so funny. Um, so I, I really enjoyed seeing that in her collection video. With with those eyeshadows I've been wearing um, NARS scent blush and then to just put on the apples of my cheeks I've been using this sample that I have from Estee Lauder. Woo! I just drop some stuff. It is the blush and shimmer pink pool, and I just put this right on my cheeks, right there, pop of a little color. It's just a really pretty, sh super shimmery color. So I'm always afraid to like wear it by itself because it is so glittery. I mean, I'm not afraid of glitter. There it is, swatched. But it's just like super glittery, and I'm going to be outside today, um, so I just put it on the apples of my cheeks, so I enjoyed that. And then something I don't talk about ever on my channel, but I absolutely love this, and I'm wondering if I've ever mentioned it. I can't remember. Um, it is the Dove Advanced Care Clear Tone Nutrient Moisture 
deodorant. This is in um, Skin Renew, and this says it helps restore skin to its natural tone. Like, I have black body hair. <laughs> That's so gross, but it's true. My armpit hair, I'm talking about armpit hair on my Fridays. Yeah, it's fine. Um, my armpit hair is black, and so it leaves a pigmentation behind what, once I shave. So this helps, I'm not about to show you, like, what it looks like right now, but it helps clear it up and like make it a nicer tone, like a skin tone versus like that black leftover looking skin. You know what I'm talking about? How it looks black even after you shave it. You know what I mean? And something else that I've been taking to the beach with me, it's so tiny and I kind of dig it. I'm pretty sure that this is like a moisturizer from Murad. Um, it's the oil control mattifier. Now I'm not oily. But I was looking for um, something I could throw on my face besides my uh, brrr, It Cosmetic CC Cream because my It Cosmetic, it Cosmetic CC Cream, um, like I sweat that stuff off. It just comes right off. So um, I was looking for something that was like going to stay on my face like a moisturizer versus like foundation. And this really worked. It was SPF 15. Um, it's an oil control mattifier and it really, it works really well and it's just a little sample but it doesn't, it doesn't smell bad so I enjoyed having that on my face and then something I took to refresh my skin and the kids skin if you follow me on Snapchat, I took the Mario Badescu uh, facial spray, I just recently hauled this, I really love this stuff, it smells really good, it just makes your skin feel better and I was suffering with like dry skin. I like crazy and we're going on these hikes and such and yeah I'm sweating but I still feel like ugh, like I'm really stuck in the desert and my skin is crackling so that has just, just not been good but these have been the standouts for this week I really have just been going with this look and loving it like I don't know since I self tanned last night I was able to use my Estee Lauder dub wear and it was just like yeah baby I was so happy because it matched my face so anyway, i just been loving this look. I hope you guys like it too. Um, if you'd like a tutorial on it, I haven't done one in a while, just let me know and I'll do that. But before we go, I had asked, okay, so I got a Snapchat from one of you. I made a Snapchat earlier and I just have to do this anyway because I don't have much time to wait. We're about to go to the museum. Um, I asked just like three minutes ago for you guys to snap me if you want to be in my BFFs and Ashley did and I know who it is. It's Texas Mommy of Boys Ashley. Um, and we'll see what she has to say. I'm going to put her in my video, um, but I'll try to include some snaps in every BFFs because I think it's fun because you guys are my BFFs. So let's go ahead and get her snapping on. Is she in the screen? Okay, let's see. Um, we'll make sure the volume's up because, oh shoot, I took a picture. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. Okay, here's Ashley. Snapping you to make it public that I want a three-minute makeup challenge with you. <laughs> she said, I think you heard her, she's snapping with me to make it public that she wants to have a three minute makeup challenge with me. So you probably expect that video soon. I think that would be really fun. We did the five minute makeup challenge together. Um, on her end, she did spectacular. On my end, I was a crazy nutball and my makeup turned out horrible. So I think a three minute one would be pretty entertaining for you guys to watch on my channel. On her channel, you'll just be like, dang girl, how did you just do your makeup in three minutes? So anyway, that is all of my BFFs. Thank you so much for coming over so late. I really appreciate you guys watching it. Uh, thumbs this video up if you want me to keep doing my BFFs and I'll try to pump them out as soon as I can on Thursdays or Fridays. And I will see you guys again real soon in my next video. I didn't mention what was on my lips, girl, because I'm going to do a haul video. It's brand new. I don't want to tell you. Um, I'm going to do a new version of a haul where it's like I spent $50 and under. So I'm going to kind of title it like mini haul under fifty dollars do you get what i mean does that sound like fun to you guys leave it in the comments if you like to know like how much did you spend because some people like they they spent over a hundred dollars or they spent a couple hundred dollars but like literally i spent like this week under fifty dollars on makeup and just fun stuff that i'd like to share with you so i was gonna do like that type of haul would you like it let me know and i will see you guys real soon in my next video ashley challenge accepted i love you guys so much don't forget to follow me on snapchat and facebook and Twitter and Instagram. I'll see you real soon. Love you guys. Bye.